Praise the Lord, saints. This is the prophetess of the Most Highest God. And today is March 7th, 2020. And I am bringing forth a beautiful word, an encouraging word that God has given unto me during prayer. I just finished praying, hallelujah. And I had a long talk with my father and your father. And this is what he gave me and I give unto you. Let us pray before I bring it forth. For I always like to pray so that the enemy does not take it out of your ears or take it out of your heart in any way, shape, or form. In Jesus' name. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we come before you, precious God, to bless your holy name, to thank you for who you are, and you will always be unto us, Father God, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You will always be our Lord, our Savior, our Master, our King, our best friend, the lover of our souls, and the keeper of our hearts, and our everything. Blessed is thy name, my King, that we will understand of what you are speaking to me that I may bring it forth unto the bride and the body of Christ. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Here goes. First, the scripture. Matthew 5, 1, no, Matthew 5, 3 through 12. Blessed are the poor in heart, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness for they shall be filled. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall rival you and persecute you and shall say all manners of evil against you falsely for my sake rejoice saith the Lord and he exceeding and be exceeding glad for greed for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Well, the message is, you see all these things that are happening in this world. Don't take your eyes off of the Lord, no matter what is going on in this world. For you are the light of this world and the salt of the earth. Keep your eyes on our Lord. It does not matter what you are going through. Remember, He has given you the victory already. Through trials and tribulations, through spiritual warfare, through hard times that we are all going through. But don't take your eyes off of Him. For He is our Lord, Savior, Master, and King. He is our Rescuer. He is our Defender. He is our strength. Brothers and sisters, body of Christ, bride of Christ. He said, Tell my people who are called by my name not to be concerned of the things that are happening. For it is I, their father and your father, that are bringing down many to their knees. Pray, my children, pray, 
that many shall come to know me as their Lord and Savior. For the reason this has come is for my lost and those who are disobedient and rebelliousness to fall down on their knees and call out my name. For I want all my children to come to me. My beloved, tell my people I am coming. I am coming, I am coming. Not to take their eyes off of me, but to know that I am with them now and forever until the end of this age, until I come and take them home with me. Tell them not to fear, for I have not given them the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And I want all my children to remember that and to know that I love them dearly and for them not to doubt that I am coming because what I say I shall do. I am the great I am. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. And I keep my promises. I do not slack on my promises as men do. I am Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who has come in the flesh and is coming again. I love you. I love you. I love you. And that's it. Be blessed. Shalom. And keep your eyes open brothers and sisters, body of Christ, body of Christ, and look up, for our redemption draws nigh. And remember, be exceedingly glad, always, no matter what's going on, that you remember you are a citizen of heaven, and you are heaven bound, and your names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Be blessed. Oh, and we are out of here. <laughs> and my confirmation number was 1101, meaning the rapture. <laughs>